I'd like to talk to you about Paul knew the secret. What kind of secret? Loretta, you like secrets? I like secrets. Yes. He knew the secret to the victorious Christian life. You know, uh, he knew about the Bible. He knew the power of it. In 1 Timothy 4.13, he said to Timothy, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Then he said in 2 Timothy 4.13, The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee and the books, but especially the parchments. See, especially the books. He said, I got to have those books because he knew how important the Bible was. And ladies, are you sitting here listening and do you know how important the Bible is? Is it first place in your life? You know, uh, the most popular books in the world, uh, number 10 was In His Steps by Sheldon. Number nine was The World Almanac. Number seven, I'm not. I'm skipping over some because they weren't as well known to to any of us. Number seven was the Co- Common Sense by Thomas Paine on why not to, why why he, that was why not to reconcile with Britain. Uh, number four, Guinness Book of World Records. Number three, I think that's because everybody that got a world record bought a copy of it to give to their family and brag. <laughs> a good idea. I I should do that with a magazine. Anyway, uh, number three, American Speller by Webster. And you know what number one is? The Bible. Six billion published in 2,000 languages. I mean, that's fantastic. We have access uh, to the most wonderful book in the world, and it can help us know the secret to the victorious Christian living by reading it, applying it, and doing something about it. You know, 18% of people surveyed read the book every day. 18% 18 read three or four times a week. 37% only read it one or two times a week. And 23% do not read. That's shocking to me because we know that part of our Christian life requires us to read the Bible. We have access to devotional books that would get us in the Bible if we don't feel like we understand or don't know where to begin. We, we have access to uh, apps on our phone that help us to be able to read the Bible, if we, and it will even read the Bible to us. And yet, in the 100%, out of 100%, 23% do not read. Dear friend, if you're listening today and you don't have a regular time in the Word of God, I'm begging you, find a way. You know, I know that you're getting the Bible by listening to this broadcast, but I'm asking you, download an app on your phone, get a devotional book, go to Christian Womanhood. I've got several on my uh, website. Just find a way to get in the Bible every day, somehow or another. Um, Nehemiah 8 records Ezra reading the book of the law for hours. This is after it had been stored away and they didn't know it. And he read, Ezra read the book for hours. The people cried as they read and their hearts were changed. They were different because they read the Bible. And ladies, if you want to be victorious and if you want to have a happy life, you got to have, you got to be like Paul and put the Bible first place. Let's make a decision right now. You're going to find a way to get in the Bible every day. I'm not even talking about reading chapters, five chapters a day. I'm just talking about reading it in some way or another. Please do it. I know you'll be glad you did. And then you'll know the secret that Paul had about the victorious Christian living. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice.